Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Please, if you see me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betanba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You know, I want to take out this particular time and opportunity to say, you have been coming back to watch the videos. You've been coming back to pray with me. And we always have live sessions every day. You attend those live sessions. We pray together. God has been faithful. God has been, has been upholding us. God has been doing something special and different in our lives. I want to say thank you so much. Why am I thanking you? Oh, Pastor, I'm coming to pray so that I can be blessed. Pastor, I'm coming to, uh, to, to, to add to the prayer line, the prayer session. I'm coming to watch the prophetic word so that I can be blessed. Now, I'm thanking you because it is very difficult. We live in a generation where people hardly make time for the things of God. We live in a world where people are so concerned with what they want about their lives and in their lives, so much so that we minimize God's purpose. We minimize the things of God. But you have decided to say, I want to follow God. I want to get that direction. I want to hear what God is saying. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. Thank you for choosing the right path. Thank you for deciding to follow God. Thank you for deciding to say, God, I want to be with you. You know, the Bible says, in him we live, in him we move, and in him we have our being. And that is what the Bible says. It doesn't matter what you're going through, and it might seem like God is silent. I want to tell you today, honey, God might seem silent, but he's in your case. God might seem silent, but he has never abandoned you. God might seem silent, but he's always with you. He's always with you. The Bible says what I repeated again, in him we live. The Bible says in him we move, in him we have our being. Every one step of the way that you're taking, God is always there. He makes sure that his presence will go with you. Moses speaking to God. He said, if your presence will not go with me, I'm not going to go alone. God has been protecting him all this while, but he still had to make demands on the presence of God. The presence of God was there to back him up. The presence of God was there to prove as evidence. Whenever your time comes, the presence of God that has been following you, the presence of God that has been with you all this while, it will be there to prove as evidence. It will be there to back you up. So that you have been praying, that you have been fasting, that you have been seeking the face of the Lord, and it seems like God is silent, doesn't mean that God is not with you. No, God is with you. But when the right time comes, you will watch his presence back you up. When the right time comes, you will see God in another dimension. When the right time comes, you will see God differently. The presence of God is there to back you up. Somebody type it on the comment section, connect yourself. If you've been watching up to this point, say the presence of God in my life is there to back me up. Say it again, somebody. The presence of God in my life is there to back me up. In the name of Jesus, there is about to be a heavy transformation. There is about to be a rekindling. Something is about to change. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Please, I'll beg on you to not forget to subscribe. And I want to be your friend. You have a prayer request you want to send. Please send me those prayer requests. I will pray with you and I will pray for you. God bless your heart. God bless your dedication. God bless your consistency. God bless your consistency. I say it again. God bless your consistency in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. The prophetic word says, and more. <laughs> I received this prophetic word and it when I received this, it was so surprising to me. Okay, and more. Oh Lord, I pray this network be stable in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you're listening to me right now. I was talking and then I just realized that my network had an obstruction. And I pray that you're listening to me right now in the name of Jesus. So the prophetic word says, and more. That's what the prophetic word says. You know, most of the times, 
the Bible gives us so many promises and we're asking God, I haven't received the first promise yet. Sure, I haven't received the second promise yet. Okay, but what is going on? What is happening? The Bible says, for my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. That is what the Bible says. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Another verse in the Bible, in the book of the Bible says, For God has given us all what we need for life and for godliness. Ha! Ah. For God has given us all what we need for life and for godliness. Jesus, I have a question right now. You have given us all what we need for life and godliness, but I've not had what I've been praying for. Maybe I've not had my rents. Maybe I've not had my visa. Maybe I've not had my, a job. I've not gotten married. I've not had these. I've not had that. But that is what the word of God says. Now, what does that mean? Because sometimes we are praying and God is saying, it has already been released. Plenty, abundance, it has already been released. But why have we not gotten it yet? We have not gotten it yet because sometimes God might be working on us. Sometimes he's working on you so that when you receive that miracle, you will not lose it. You will be able to manage it properly. I want to pray with somebody right now. The Lord says you're about to receive a heavy miracle and more. Like you prayed for one miracle, you will receive two, three, four. You prayed for two miracles, you will receive four, eight, surplus. You are about to receive a heavy miracle and more. Somebody type it on the comment section. If you have been watching up to this extent, type it and say, I am about to receive a heavy miracle and more. I am about to receive a heavy breakthrough and more. I am about to receive a heavy miracle and more. In the name of Jesus, I connect you. Receive that particular miracle. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive your miracles. Receive your breakthroughs. Receive your testimonies. Receive your testimonies. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it and more. Receive it and more. Receive it and more. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Please, if this has been of great blessings to you, I'll beg on you to pray for me and kindly share this particular video. God bless your heart. God bless you as you do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine in you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much and more. I love you. I do. I love you so much. God bless you amazingly. May God bless you abundantly. I'll see you in our next prayer session. Shalom.